Hello, hello, and welcome to Games Revisited. It is episode 27, and we're continuing our playthrough of Portal 2. We've uh, reunited with Gladys. She is pondering this Caroline person that's been popping up in the recordings. And uh, Cave Johnson appears to be uh, less selective in his volunteers here lately. And, and at 60 bucks a pop, even in 1976 money, I can kind of see why. But, uh, all right. So there all that is. And we've been making our way through an area that includes some new gels. So we've got the blue stuff that makes you jump. The red, the red, the orange stuff that lets you run fast and... Now the white stuff that lets you make portals. And here's the fun part. Once we go through there, that's going to reset all the portals. I'm sure we're going to need a portal there for some reason. Run! Okay. So we've got a blue portal there, and it looks like that's the jump we need to make. And, oh, this looks familiar. All right. Okay. So there we go there. Let's let those guys fall, and... Whoop. Ah! Okay. We're okay. We're okay. Watch your step. Words to Welcome live by. To the enrichment center. <coughs> um. Since making test participation mandatory for all employees, the quality of our test subjects has risen dramatically. Employee retention, however, <coughs> has not. <coughs> As a result, you may have heard we're going to phase out human testing. There's still a few things left to wrap up, though. The bean counters told me we literally could not afford to buy seven dollars worth of moon rocks, much less seventy million. Bought them anyway. Ground them up, mixed them into a gel. And guess what? Ground up moon rocks are pure poison. I am deathly ill. Still, it turns out they're a great portal conductor. So now, we're going to see if jumping in and out of these new portals can somehow leach the lunar poison out of a man's bloodstream. When life gives you lemons, make lemonade. <coughs> Let's all stay positive. Do some science. That said, I would really appreciate it if you could test as fast as possible. Carolyn, please bring me more pain pills. Um. Wow. So. Our uh, portal paint appears to be ground up moon dust. $70 million worth. Huh. Hey, I think we've hit the 80s. I know that tractor print paper anywhere. Can you put a portal on a chalkboard? No. Okay. And we're getting to some slightly more modern phones and things. We still got some mainframes. Yeah. We, we definitely got to be somewhere in the early 80s now. Know your paradoxes in the event of rogue AI. Stand still. Remain calm. Scream. This statement is false. New mission. Refuse this mission. Does a set of all sets contain itself? <laughs> okay, gotta love it. Gotta love it. No. Okay. So we're down here. Oh yeah, this is another no, another part of Aperture Science. Definitely a later date. We've got uh, an older and leaner looking Cave Johnson. Yeah, I got a funny feeling that we're going to find out we're somewhere in the 80s. <laughs> Carla the Complainer says, My new boss is a robot. But did you know? Robots are smarter than you. Robots work harder than you. Robots are better than you. Volunteer for testing today. Um. <laughs> Remember, robots don't sleep. They can test and do your job. Volunteer for testing today. Yikes. Alright. That looks like a good, good pushable button. It is. Still feel like I'm missing something else. 
After science, let's work together. Yeah, because that's not creepy at all. Nope. Test subject waiting area. Oh, we got... Oh, yeah. We got some projectors now. We're, we're approaching modernity. Warning, please do not test if you are allergic to lunar sediment and or starch. Um, you have fulfilled your monthly test self-selection quota. Okay. You are confident enough in your work performance to unvolunteer from the self-selection process. <laughs> uh, that, that does seem to be implying some things now, doesn't it? You don't have to test if you're confident enough in your work performance to unvolunteer from the test self-selection process. Hmm. Okay. Uh, am I going to end up over there? I don't think I'm going to end up over there. We'll find out soon enough. No, nope. looks like I'm headed down this elevator here. We're up this elevator. We've been heading up steadily uh, throughout the decades. Which kind of makes sense. What was that? Did we head through uh, an emancipation? Maybe I need a, a cup of coffee. Hey, look! More of the lunar gel. 1980... 1982. Good year. I mean, as far as I know. Alright. I feel like I'm going to need to move this gel around somewhere to get it up that way. The question is, where else am I going to put it? Okay, this is kind of fun. gonna be it? Almost. Is that gonna be it? Alright, let's get myself out. Oh. oh! There we go. Oh, okay. I need to get, I need to get up there. can start walking portal stuff that way. Alright. That's not going to help me, is it? No. Oh, no. Okay, that's going to be where I launch myself. So I need to get some elevation. How do I get the... Let's see if we can't walk the portal, the portal stuff a little bit further. Uh, oh. That's not it. feeling I'm making more of a mess than I need to. Why well, get it up that far, though? Yeah, is it going to be up this side? No. Alright. Let's, uh, let's stop and think about this. Get all right. 
that gives me a portal there so I can get a little more elevation and ultimately I need to get this stuff up there somehow where am I going to get the angle to get it up there somehow doesn't help. Oh, no, that's where I came in. That's my exit. I need... I need to get this stuff up there. Or... Do I do this? Should be able to get a little like so. And oh no, I need need this stuff down here. There we go. So we can do that, and we can do that. And away we go. Oi. Right, Sweet. When life gives you lemons, don't make lemonade. Make life take the lemons back. Get mad. I don't want your damn lemons. What am I supposed to do with these? Demand to see life's manager. Make life rue the day it thought it could give Cave Johnson lemons. Do you know who I am? I'm the man who's going to burn your house down. With the lemon, oh, I'm gonna get my <laughs> engineers to invent a combustible lemon that burns your house down. Finding people, he says what we're all thinking. Point is, if we can store music on a compact disc, why can't we store a man's intelligence and personality on one? So I have the engineers figuring um. that out now. Brain mapping, artificial intelligence. We should have been working on it 30 years ago. I will say this. And I'm going to say it on tape so everybody hears it a hundred times a day. If I die before you people can pour me into a computer, I want Carolyn to run this place. <laughs> oh. Now she'll argue. She'll say she can't. She's modest like that, but you make her. <coughs> Hell, put her in my computer. I don't care. All right, test's over. <coughs> you can head on back to your desk. Goodbye, sir. Um. <laughs> yeah, I think we, I think we all see where this is going, don't we? Yep. Nineteen eighty-two. Well, the nineteen eighty-four was the Van Halen album, so we we haven't quite gotten ready to jump. Jump. Thank you for volunteering. Please return to your desk and await further opportunities. Yikes. Is there a real elevator to the surface now? No. We can't be there yet. That's right. I can use my broken uh, scroll wheel to zoom. Hmm. Okay. So... We'll try this. Nope. Maybe. Oh. That almost worked. Anything? Yes? No? A map? No. Of course not. 
Hey! We're only 3,000 miles below the surface. And moving on up. Uh, okay. So if that's my orange. And a blue one ought to get me there. That looks like the next best place up. Close enough to it. Anything here? No. Just a look deep down in the dark cave. Alright, uh... Let's go up there. Okay. So far, so good. What I want to know is who sat here and painted all these little patches of portal paint all over this place. As we go up, up, up. Alright. What are the odds that elevator will take me where I want to go? Oh. Oh, I got a funny feeling that we're going to need, uh... It's going to be another momentum game, isn't it? Yeah, because I don't see... I don't see anywhere that we can hit with a portal from here, so I bet we're supposed to do this. We're supposed to do this. And uh, this. And whoop. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Uh, orange? Yep. Alright. So far, so good. Next one's going to need to be blue. And next one's going to need to be orange. Oh, I missed it. Shoot. I got disoriented. Woof. Ow. I, I know I got the bracers of awesomeness protecting my legs, but I, I don't think that protects the rest of my body from uh, those kinds of momentum moves. Loading, please wait. Ooh. So what do we have through this door over here? You'll uh, find out next episode. Thank you for joining along so far. If you're watching live on Twitch, hang on, there's still more to come. If you want to watch live, I stream Thursdays at 6 p.m. U.S. Eastern. Follow along on Twitch and you'll get notified when I go live. And uh, if you haven't already, subscribe to the YouTube channel. That way, if you miss anything, if you miss uh, whatever's going on, you can see when it gets uploaded there. Also, if you get a little enjoyment out of this, if you get some value from these shows, do give a little value back. Live.anonjunior.com will take you to the Streamlabs page where you can donate tip. Um, just again, it's a, it's a value for value thing. So if you're getting enjoyment, if you're getting any value out of it, give a little value back. And, uh, so live folks, give me just a minute to prep the next episode and YouTube folks, I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>